Well, a new complaint has been filed against Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita. It's related to the first disciplinary complaint that Rokita was already reprimanded for by the Indiana Supreme Court. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist explains what led to this new complaint. At the beginning of this month, the Indiana Supreme Court reprimanded Rokita for his comments about a doctor who performed an abortion on a 10-year-old rape victim. Then Rokita issued a statement about the reprimand. The new complaints, filed by attorneys William Groth and Paula Cardoza-Jones, take issue with Rokita's comments following the reprimand. They specifically point to his assertion he had evidence to back up his original statements about Dr. Caitlin Bernard. They say that directly contradicts what he said in filings he made under oath as part of the court's reprimand proceedings. They also say Rokita's statement shows a lack of remorse, contrary to the court's finding that Rokita accepted responsibility for his original actions. Now, with a statement made public that is essentially a sharp stick at the, pointed at the Supreme Court, um, not taking the process seriously, not showing the right kind of contrition, um, his ability to hold on to a majority that favors him seems to me to be compromised. Lundberg filed one of the original complaints over Rokita's comments about Bernard. He was not involved in this new round. Lundberg says the court has disciplined lawyers for similar actions in the past. He says since the court already has reprimanded Rokita, if it acts on the new complaint, it could suspend his law license. And he represents all of the citizens of the state of Indiana. And if he is saying publicly that what the Supreme Court does does not concern him, is not a serious matter, in fact may have no merit, then it raises a question about his ability to properly carry out the, uh, uh, the responsibilities of his office. Both Growth and Cardoza Jones turned down my request for interviews to discuss the filings further. Rokita's office says he can't comment on something he hasn't seen. A spokesperson added, this one-way street of self-serving accusations made by attorneys with one-sided voting records and giving histories is now being built into a highway of oncoming baseless claims leading into an election year all over a 16-word television response made after a doctor was found to be talking about her patient publicly at a political rally on the heels of the repeal of Roe v. Wade. So far, the Disciplinary Commission has not initiated any formal proceedings over the complaints. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for WishTV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.